You're watching BCTV. We're all about Brantford. You're watching BCTV, Brantford Government Television, a service of Brantford Community Television. This program is brought to you in part through the support of the Town of Brantford. Okay, I'd like to call the meeting of the police commissioners to order. Um, it's February 11th, 531. And first on the agenda is the approval of the minutes of the January 28th meeting. Move for approval. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Report of the Chief. All right, this ought to be pretty short. We, um, just to let everyone know, we have four days left in the diaper and wipe drive uh, that we're doing with several police departments here on the shore for bare necessities. You can drop them off here at the lobby. Uh, we've had a good turnout, um, but we still have four days left, and we encourage people, if they have the chance, to stop down and make a donation. Uh, Again, February, also National Go Red for Women. You also can stop in and uh, purchase a heart, which we'll post here, and it's a uh, benefit uh, heart disease awareness for women, and that's also been a successful campaign here in the lobby. As we talked about last month, uh, the stolen cars, on the 4th of February, we had another car stolen uh, from School Street. Uh, they made their way into Guilford and came back and abandoned the vehicle uh, when they saw police. Canine track, we tried to find them. We ended up finding three suspects, uh, arrested all three. Two were juveniles and one was an adult. So again, let's reinforce uh, the need to lock cars, do not leave the keys in the cars. This is a uh, ongoing issue throughout the state. It's a crime of opportunity, so let's do what we can. Uh, lock it up. Also, um, just on Sunday, I, I can highlight it here. I think it's worthy. It was uh, covered a little bit in the media. We had an armed robbery in progress at the Krauser store on Cedar Street. Um, the suspect had went in uh, with a mask on, produced a knife. During the course of the robbery, a, an unwitting um, customer was in the store, at which time the suspect kind of removed his mask to try to fit in. Uh, mm -hmm. A witness gave us heads up uh, through 911, which gave us some time to get there. Uh, very dangerous situation. It's a, a tough call when you have an armed robbery in progress. But the officers, um, Officer Burkhart was, was the lead there. He got there first. He made a good assessment. Uh, a witness had indicated <coughs> that the clerk was in, in, in need and was yelling for help. So and the priority of, of life scheme, he has to, to get to that, that clerk. Uh, so he made entry, confronted the, the uh, armed robber um, who was dressed all in black, who did have a black mask, uh, took him down at gunpoint. Uh, Officer Morgan and Romanello came in, they handcuffed him. Uh, lo and behold, the suspect had cash, had a knife on him, and was a 15-year-old juvenile. Um, so, very, very high risk call, handled very well, very professional. Uh, under the, the direction of Sergeant Roach, um, my, my hat goes off to them. You only have a few seconds to make those decisions and, and, and analyze that, and they made the right choice. The body uh, camera footage is, uh, it, it's impressive to see, you know, what they did. So a job well done to them, um, and we appreciate the people who called and provided critical information to that. Uh, as we responded, uh, as was far okay? was that the clerk was clerk. She up. was uh, she was shaken up, but she yeah, was okay. she was fine. Um, as far as the asset forfeiture report, um, I am requesting uh, a few expenditures for your your approval. Uh, the first one is some fitness equipment. If you recall, we. We had some money donated to the town. Um, someone passed away and left us uh, some money. And to purchase something that was expendable and we didn't feel was the spirit of what the money was intended for. So what we did was we bought some fitness equipment, redid the gym, and we're gonna put a plaque that up makes sense. in that person's <laughs> honor. 
um, but they were well short of the mark what they needed for this equipment. It's very expensive, so I did come before you in the past. We've completed all that. It's been a success. We've seen an increase of officers using it. Um, a lot of activity down there. I am all for that if we can get our officers in the gym. And there's a few cardiovascular machines that they're short. So what I'm requesting is a uh, approval for an expenditure not to exceed $5,000 from asset forfeiture. They're specking a few right now and the quotes just haven't come in and out um, to our liking yet. So I don't have an exact dollar amount, but it would be under that threshold. The other expenditure is related to the simunition uh, use of force training that I want to implement what I've been calling our, our new training diet going forward. It's been such a success along the shoreline um, that from North Haven, North Brantford, East Haven, Madison, Guilford, and a few other departments, we do this every year now. It's a big undertaking to put all these officers through this training in one week or so. Uh, it's, it's a heavy demand on the trainers. So what they have asked this year is if departments who don't have the protective gear, if they could purchase it, because what we can do is line up 20 officers, run them through these scenarios, keep the speed of, of the training evolution going. Um, and also, I would like some of our own equipment because in the downtime of the different quarters of the year, which we're not participating on a regional level, we have Sergeant Rashad Roach that's going to be a certified simunition instructor. I would like us to be able to run uh, classes as we can with our staff. So that's an estimated expenditure of not to exceed $8,000 to buy helmets. Uh, it's protective eyewear, helmets, throat, groin protection. These are projectiles. They, they, they are moving at a very high velocity and you do not want to get hit in critical areas with it. So <laughs> part of the program is you have to wear this um, this gear. So those are two expenditures. Um, I think they're well suited for the- What's the uh, dollar amount on the second one? Yeah, I would say not to ex exceed 8,000 because okay. um, we're gonna hopefully outfit 10 and then there's also um, the cost of the simunition itself and whether it's a conversion kit or a mm -hmm. um, standalone gun that they sell and he's working on that, but we should have that back next week. So I'd like to make a motion. We approve an expenditure from asset for forfeiture for no more than $5,000 um, for sport uh, for uh, fitness equipment for the downstairs and no more than $8,000 for outfitting up to 10 officers with simunition safety gear and simunition. Respectfully, Rich, I think that by parliamentary procedure, that has to be put on the next agenda for the figures involved so there can be <coughs> discussion on that. So if you want that, if you're in favor of that, or the rest of us are in favor, it would have to go on the next agenda because it involves liquidated amounts of money. We've done this before. This well, is I don't know whether we've done it before. I'll tell you it's wrong. Um, I don't think it is. I know it is. <clears throat> I think if it's, on the, if it's on the agenda, that the amount of the expenditure after discussion, that you're allowed to vote on it. It has to be put on the agenda. It is the on the Wait a second. The liquidated amount has to be put on the agenda. I don't know what a liquidated amount is. So <laughs> my understanding is that from previous commission meetings and, and the historical background is anywhere from zero to 2,500 or even 5,000 was, was, was approved for the chief's discretion to apply through that account. So. A thousand dollar expenditure, I can put that through. Not and even the, asking us. And without yes. without asking, the reason why I'm bringing it forward to to the body is um, for an amount not to exceed um, for your approval, so that I have that the ability to do it. The, the true amounts, I, I can get those. Um, but the reason why I'm I'm bringing them to this agenda mm -hmm. is so that we can get moving once we leave here and we don't meet for another month. So. Right. Can't, totally well, respectfully, can't. Chief, I think we're all with you on this. But I think as a pro forma matter, it should be done according to oil. 
Well, I know the last time we did gym equipment, it was exactly that, that it was not to exceed $10,000, $5,000, whatever. Um, you know, in, in my previous experience, if it's a not to exceed, that gives me the authority to operate in that level, but not to exceed that amount. And we have done this many times before with this. With this with Kevin. Pattern and practice does have, has nothing to do with it. It's well, you never uh, objected to it before. I don't know why you're objecting to it now out of the blue. Question, Tony. That it is a special meeting, this, this meeting, right? Because we changed the date. Regular mm -hmm. meeting would have been yesterday. And, it, and it, I see it does say, it doesn't show the amount. But could we add that as a group? Could we add that to the agenda, the dollar amount? Would that make it? For, for this meeting? Yeah. No, it has to be published. Yeah, he's right about that part. Yeah. But, it, but where I disagree with Tony is that it has to be um, put off. In fact, I'm saying that based on what we've done in the past, certainly for amounts like this, I mean, these are not big expenditures. This is not $25,000 or something. Rich, I'm not, I'm not saying that we're not poor. Discretionary-wise, we are. Okay. So let's come. But, but let's, let's, let's do it according well, to Well, order. then I would still compromise with you and say this, that we would agree, this body would agree to approve what the chief is asking for and that we can formalize that at the next meeting with the uh, with the exact uh, numbers, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't go for that. I think, it, and this is no disparagement. To you. Believe me. No, 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 none. We're all for it. None, none, none but taken. just from the standpoint of bookkeeping, Chief, will damage be done if we wait to the next meeting? We're waiting on the confirmation of the location for the the training um, through. The other departments and how quick I can pure, cure it. I don't know. The reason why I, I put it on this is we're getting different pricing right now, um, competitively shopping. There's a couple different vendors we have access to, and um, a couple of them have not come in with with hard numbers yet. So, um, you know, the more yeah, you know, I, I that that's fine. I'll make it work. That's fine. I I'll, mean, I'll, I'll put it back on the agenda for the next meeting, and um, and you'll have exact dollar amounts. Yeah. Yeah, I think you. Yeah. I put it on the agenda. But for the I next also meeting, think that there needs to be some type. The of chief has the discretion to go ahead. And we need to clarify. If I have the authority to go to a certain level without board approval, at what point do we need a motion to approve these funds? And we need to seek some clarity in that. So when I go forward with this, I have a better. There is now. a, there is a protocol in the use of these funds. The, 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 I am very well versed in the use of the funds. Right, but does the, it talk to how, how the board... Who makes the determination of mm -hmm. how they're dispersed is not within those guidelines. That's a, a municipal. Uh, some chiefs have the authority to, to do it right out of their account with no commission involvement. Mm -hmm. Government structures are different in different communities. Some don't have police commissions. Some have to answer the mayor. Some are just independent mm -hmm. authority. That, that write the checks. Tony, didn't we give so, didn't we give Kevin a certain amount where he could just go ahead and spend it? Absolutely. It was, it well, was, no. It yeah, was, we did. Wait, wait a second. Let me respond to the question. All right. Already, I've said that he's got the discretion of the board. To act. Right. He knows in the back of his mind. It We're was going in the back end. Right. But as a pro forma matter, it should be in print. It should be part of the record. Well, it is. No, well, in, no, in as much as we're saying it won't It's exceed, not because it's not on the agenda. Uh, it is. The item is on the agenda, and if I'm making a specific motion that it will not exceed a certain amount, so we know it's going to be X or X minus. We know that. No, it has to be on the agenda. No. Well, that's my position. Yeah, the, right. Okay, I, I agree with Tony. Okay. Okay, so, so, so I've got, a, I've got a, a motion out there. Okay, just for and point of clarification for me for preparation for next month's agenda. Yeah, what has to under be forfeiture here? report hmm? expenditure request on this agenda it says expenditure request fitness equipment, comma simunition safety gear. The only modification you're requesting is it will say expenditure request the exact dollar amount fitness equipment exact dollar amount simunition right. equipment. That's right. Right. Okay. 
Okay, so moving forward, any request of asset forfeiture over $2,500 requires a specific dollar amount <clears throat> and a motion with that wording. I, I, you're not bringing up another issue, right. honestly. I've got a, a motion on the table. I've got a second to that motion. No, I will I with. I don't think you had a second. Oh, I thought you did. All right. Well, then I can just with, withdraw. I can withdraw. Okay. I can withdraw that. What you're asking for now is some kind of policy out of this board for what you can do. Or right? clarification, because anyway. my understanding of the past practice is, and what we've done on previous expenditures as my time as chief this is the way it's been done so if we're going to change that i just would well, like we, clarification we, on how we're going to do that I, I i think that um that your request to have that clarified is more than reasonable um and um the question then i would bring back to the chair which is how do you want to uh how do you want to uh, have that discussion you're arguing tongue and cheek, okay? The fact of the matter is, it should be an agenda item. No, no, no. We've already Wait, done. Hold on. Let me, fin let me finish. You have a habit of interrupting. He knows our feeling on this. We are 100% behind him. It's a matter, as I say, of pro forma record keeping. All right? And that's okay. the way it should be. We've moved past that. We've agreed with you, Tony. Okay. So okay. Motion, we're past rescinded. that. Now we're yes. discussing yes. another okay. issue, Tony. So I'll, uh, it, it, is, it's rescinded? Yes, yes. Okay, I'll move forward. Um, so kind of tied to that or tied to the Chief's report, uh, just a quick snapshot of the budget. budget. We're going into the uh, seventh month is completed. Uh, we are trending right about where we need to be a little bit under. However, I do expect as we move forward into the warmer months, uh, we still have some staffing shortages in our supervisory ranks, as well as in the patrol level, so we should see uh, some increase in overtime. But I am uh, confident in, in where we are with the budget at this point. And lastly, I have no one on uh, work-related injury, That's and great. did receive a letter from- That's a first. <laughs> Connecticut Hospice. Um, expressing their gratitude for uh, Detective Lieutenant, Lieutenant Dominic Eula and Detective Paul Parati. Uh, he, the both officers went there to assist them with a uh, drill that they were conducting at their facility. They were very uh, appreciative of their input and their presence there and uh, they look forward to a continued good working relationship. And just as a side note, Detective Lieutenant Eula has been doing um, active shooter training for our departments uh, here in town. Uh, the feedback has been uh, been great, and it's another uh, aspect of his job that he's taken on and, and ran with. So, uh, you know, with staff like that, the wheels go around and people like that make it happen. But I want to thank uh, him and Detective Parati for that. So, as far as the chief, uh, that's all I have. I'd like to make a suggestion. Per your request to quantify what you're allowed to do with this, with discretion. I'd like to suggest that the budget meet, the committee, um, the finance committee, we have a special meeting to discuss that issue and then make a recommendation to this group as to what that should be. That's on Robert's Rules of Order, it's there. You don't have to discuss that at a special meeting, okay? It's gotta be an agenda matter we, we do this all the time, whether it's discussing the annual budget or whatever. When we have an issue that has to do with the expenditures of money, we just like traffic meets monthly, we can meet and have a separate meeting and discuss this with the chief and come up with a recommendation to this board so that this issue of what uh, the chief's expenditure limit is on a discretionary basis. Yeah, but is, is you're, the, you're the committee chair for finance. Just call a committee meeting. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. So we'll have a committee meeting. Yeah. Nothing is wrong with a committee meeting. Right. So yeah. I need to be talked that. about here. Yeah. I agree. 
That's yeah. the, I'm just talking about, yeah. we're all on the same page here. Right. I'm just talking right. about the mechanism to get just this get done. done. Just yeah. put it okay. on paper so that five years from now, people look back and can see. Tony, yeah. uh, we're going to come back to okay, this let's board. Move along. No, excuse me. I, I want to just finish this concept. We're going to come back to this board with a recommendation, and then whatever that is will be voted on, and it will be, as you say, Tony, in in writing for the future people to be able to uh, reference. So that's all I'm suggesting. Okay, traffic committee. I'm gonna be short and sweet. We have one request this month. We've got a bunch coming up next month, but this month we have one. A request for removing the westernmost parking space on the south side of Main Street, just east of the Eade Street intersection. If you're heading west on South Main Street, heading towards St. Mary Church, uh, and you turn right up Eade Street, it's just a short little stretch there. To look to the right, uh, if there's a car in the last parking space, the westernmost parking space, south side of Main Street, uh, you really can't see. And so you end up pulling out into traffic, and it's a situation that's not a good one. The traffic committee looked at it and felt that we should black out one space. So I looked for a motion and a second. I make such a motion. We black out. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, um, report. I'd like, to, I'd like to make a request here, if we could. And that is, could we possibly have the executive session before the report of the chair? Is that a personnel matter? Yes. Is that all right? Does that work for? Sure. Uh, you want? No. What's, what's the reason for that? The executive session before the report? Yeah, just it? switch the things around. What's your reasoning to, to do that? So we can have some discussions. <laughs> no, the agenda is the agenda. Well, we're going to have a, a bunch of discussions. Then we can have them privately. We can have them publicly. Yeah. Yeah. All right, if everyone's in agreement. We have to come. It's out of we order, but. Yeah. Yeah, but we do that again. No, we do it again. We do it again. We saying we did it. We've done it before. That yes. doesn't make it right. No. Well, don't we usually put it toward the end so that. Yeah. You know, I'm just uh, I'm just making, a, a, I'm making a suggestion that, that in this particular case. That suggestion denied. Okay. Okay. Report of the chair. Organization of the board. First order of business, I guess, is to uh, nominate a chairman. I nominate Jill Marcus to continue as chairman of this board of uh, police commissioners. I nominate myself as chairman of the board of police commissioners. Okay. Well, is there a second to my motion, first of all? Second. Second. Yeah. We have a vote on a motion. Peter? What? Everybody agrees? No, no, that's not how it works. Okay? Nominations should be, that's not how nominations work. Let's go to Robert's Rules of Orders. Okay? When you're, it's, it's you, Robert's Rules of Orders is very specific. You ask for nominations. Okay? You asked for one. Jill was nominated. Now, you can have second or third or fourth nominations. Okay, you're, 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 all you're doing is, is, is uh, agreeing to have that person put in, you know, in the list of people that you want to do. Well, you have for. a vote on the first one. No, and you, then this a vote was, on the second. No, the this, first. well, you're just going to have a vote as to whether or not well, that person is in on nominations. It's, it's out of order, but... It's not out of order. In other words, it is. It isn't. <laughs> okay, I've been nominated as chair. There's a motion and a so, second. Okay. So okay. two people have been nominated, and you right. want us to say we agree that two people are nominated. That the two people are not. That's all I'm looking for. That's all that's he's it. asking for. That's right. Yeah. That's it. That's okay. Right. Now, so do we do have to technically vote on that according yeah, to the to rules? Yeah, you have to vote on that. That's, 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 right. that's what I was okay. trying to do. Okay. 
going around the table. Peter? So all in favor of, of the, the fact two, that, that we have two, two people nominated. nominated. Then we will have to have open discussions about who is wants to do and why. Okay. okay. Is that a motion? Well, you've got a motion. And you don't have a second to yours. Peter seconded. Val seconded. No, no I didn't, didn't second his motion. No, there's no, no second because, to the motion. Yeah, I didn't know that we were had to make a motion that two people were nominated. Right. That's what I was right. confused at. Right. Okay, so it's either me or Rick. Well, the motion no, fell. No, 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 his no, motion no, fell. No, no. Wait a second. Your I motion have a motion fell. to nominate, a second to nominate Marcus. Rick Goodwin nominated himself. I'm waiting on a second, a second on that. Right. On, Will somebody second my nomination for myself? I just want to make sure we're answering the right so question. That's, that's all. For lack of a second. <laughs> no, what? I, yeah. no, no. So the In motion on the for, table is from Wick, Rick Goodwin to nominate himself as chairman. We need a second to that motion for him to be a nominated candidate for, for chairman. And then we vote on that. And then you will have discussion on the nominated right. candidates. And why, why there are two. Yes, that's correct. correct. Is there a second on the motion? Respectfully, Rich, that fails for lack of a second. A motion fails. It's a Okay. Thank you. I accept. All right. Vote on... Uh, we think you need to vote on the original motion. Yeah, the original motion. Okay. The original motion was for, for chairman. Right. Okay. Joe Marcus for chairman, and it was seconded... By Val. Mm -hmm. oh. All, All in favor? favor? You have a roll call vote or? I vote aye. Okay. Aye. John? Aye. Val? Oh, I, I, I second. Aye. Okay. Okay. And I get the vote twice. I, I have, I'll abstain. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I accept. All right. Anyway, yeah. You need a uh, vice chair. Well, we've we've always. You, I thought you yeah. were. Yep, I am. So I need a need motion. A nomination there a nomination for that? I would nominate vice chair. Rick for vice chair. Okay. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Are there any other? Is there a secretary? Nomination? Well, the secretary is um, Trista. Well, do we have to do you for secretary? I nominate Trista to be secretary. I second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Who? Trista. Trista. Trista, Trista Melisi. Let her catch up first with writing. <laughs> okay. Motion for executive session. And now we need a motion to go into executive session for personal matter update and promotions regarding Captain, Lieutenant, and Sergeant. Peter? So moved. Thank you. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I'm out of executive session and no votes were taken. And I'd like to um, just... I'd like to, uh, if it's all right with you, I'd like to make a motion. Okay. Um, we talked with the chief here and uh, as a result of uh, our discussions we would like to recommend uh, some promotions um, we'd like uh, to recommend that uh, Corianne Diane um, Dion goes um, from the position of sergeant to lieutenant that um, patrolman Michael Connor uh, goes from patrolman to sergeant, and <clears throat> that Lieutenant Greg Watrous goes from lieutenant to captain. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Effective. Effective. Effective tomorrow. Oh yeah. Is effective tomorrow. Tomorrow. Morning. Effective uh, today's the twelfth. Twelfth. Okay. Thank you. Okay. 
Motion to adjourn. All right. Motion adjourn to adjourn. Second. Aye. Aye. This program was brought to you in part through the support of the Town of Brantford. Watch town meetings and other videos on demand at BrantfordTV.org.